Imagine stepping into an airport that's not just a gateway, but a global milestone. In the heart of Dubai, a city synonymous with architectural wonders, a new marvel rises, set to redefine the skies. Ever wondered what it takes to handle 260 million passengers? Or how about orchestrating flights with a capacity for 220 million travelers annually, all while setting new benchmarks for sustainability and innovation? We're on a journey through the DWC, Dubai World Central, the future world's largest airport. This isn't just a story of scale, it's about the numbers that narrate tales of ambition, foresight, and unmatched excellence. Dive into a narrative filled with staggering numbers, from DWC's 260 million passenger capacity to the visionary grand project behind it, costing over $80 billion. Discover how DWC is expanding Dubai's boundaries. As we chart the course of DWC's journey from ambitious blueprints to concrete reality, ask yourself, what does it take to be the world's largest airport? Let's find out. Following a disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, efforts were underway to resume the construction of Al Maktoum International Airport. Because at this point, Dubai undoubtedly requires a bigger airport. For example, there has been a resurgence in traffic numbers, with Dubai International recording 66.1 million passengers in 2022. Anticipating around 78 million passengers this year, and a return to pre-pandemic levels by 2024, Dubai has geared up for a new era in aviation. Dubai Airport CEO Paul Griffiths mentioned that as passenger traffic continues to recover, reaching around 120 million passengers a year at Dubai International, there will be a need for a new airport. The designs for Al Maktoum International Airport are in the works, and the project is expected to extend well into the 2050s, representing the airport of the future. The CEO emphasized confidence in the aviation industry, and the announcement came as Dubai International is on track to surpass pre-pandemic passenger levels, with 86.9 million passengers forecast for this year. Other than that, the impact of the Israel-Hamas war on passenger numbers has been reported as minimal, and the focus is on reshaping airport business models for greater efficiency. The initial development phase of the project was a significant investment, totaling $7.8 billion. However, this financial commitment was dedicated to building crucial infrastructure to support the smooth functioning of the airport. The infrastructure itself was carefully planned and included essential elements such as three runways, one passenger terminal, an air traffic control tower, and the necessary roads and utilities. It's important to note that these components were pivotal in creating a fully operational and efficient airport. Back in the day, the airport commenced its operations with a focus on cargo services in 2010, marking the first step towards its functional existence. Subsequently, in 2013, passenger services were introduced, adding another dimension to the airport's operations and making it accessible to a broader audience. The designed capacity during this initial phase was aimed at accommodating up to 10 million passengers annually. Which then leads us to phase one of this expansion. During the phase one expansion period slated from 2023 to 2030, a projected investment of $7.5 billion has already been allocated to propel the airport into a new era of growth and efficiency through a series of significant enhancements and the introduction of novel facilities. The major focus of this expansion is to improve connectivity. And in order to do this, a new express metro line is being developed, which is scheduled to become operational by 2025. So yeah, that's not very far away. This addition aims to streamline transportation to and from the airport, providing a swift and convenient mode of travel for passengers. But that's for traveling to and from the airport. What about traveling within DWC? After all, it's massive and going around on foot doesn't sound very feasible. Well, to enhance intra-airport transit, an automated people mover system is set to be implemented. This high-tech solution is designed to efficiently transport passengers within the airport premises, 
reducing travel times and enhancing overall convenience. The physical footprint of the airport will also undergo notable changes with the construction of the West Terminal Building and Concourse 1. Let us explain how. This new infrastructure will boast a total of 100 gates, providing ample space for the growing number of flights and passengers. Not just that, the addition of two more runways is planned to accommodate the anticipated increase in flight traffic at DWC. Apart from that, Phase 1 is also focusing on increasing baggage handling efficiency as the establishment plans to incorporate better, faster and more efficient baggage handling systems for the ease of passengers. This enhancement mainly aims to streamline the processing of luggage, minimise delays and improve the overall passenger experience. The ambitious goal of the Phase 1 expansion is to increase the airport's capacity substantially. Reports suggest that the basic objective is to boost the annual passenger capacity from its initial 10 million to an impressive 130 million. Not only that, but by the end of Phase 1, DWC will be able to handle about 100 wide-body aircraft at any given time. With all this going on, it looks like this expansion will set the stage for the airport to become a major hub, catering to a significantly larger number of passengers and flights while maintaining a high standard of operational excellence. Phase 1 still has time to be completed, however, plans for Phase 2 have also been finalised. So let's have a look at the next phase of expansion now. The Phase 2 expansion period will begin in 2030 after Phase 1's completion and will continue until 2040. For this phase, a budget of $9 billion will be allocated to propel the airport forward with additional expansions and cutting-edge technological upgrades. There will be several upgrades, so let's discuss some of the most important ones. Starting with the introduction of Concourse 2. You must be wondering what exactly is Concourse 2? Well, allow us to explain. This new concourse is strategically designed to enhance the airport's passenger handling capabilities. While Phase 1 will set the stage for this purpose, Phase 2 will continue to expand on it. This project will provide additional space and facilities to accommodate the increasing number of travellers, contributing to a seamless and efficient passenger experience over the years. Not just that, the metro lines that will be made functional in Phase 1 will also be expanded in the second phase. The purpose behind this is to broaden the reach of the metro system and improve connectivity even more. Phase 2 will also see technological advancement, and we kid you not when we say that these upgrades will continue to be at the forefront with a major focus on upgrading baggage handling systems. These improvements will aim to utilize state-of-the-art technology to enhance efficiency, reduce processing times, and ensure a smoother handling of passenger luggage. Since the airport will see a massive increase in passengers by the time Phase 2 begins, a comprehensive expansion of utilities and infrastructure is planned to meet the growing demands as well. For more people, they'll need to provide more upgrades. Phase 2 will commence upgrading support systems including water, power and telecommunication services. These upgrades will ultimately ensure the airport can meet the increasing needs of passengers, airlines and other stakeholders. Now let's have a look at some of the key milestones that the airport aims to achieve before the beginning of Phase 2, before 2035. First of all, the plan is to achieve a total of 200 gates by the end of 2035. This future expansion in gate capacity reflects the airport's commitment to accommodating a higher number of flights and further solidifying its position as a major air travel hub. Secondly, the goal is to increase the airport's annual passenger capacity. As of now, the target capacity is set at an impressive 150 million passengers per year. Now, that was all about Phase 2, but don't think it's the end, because DWC has an ultimate phase all planned out too. In the last phase, from 2040 to 2050, Dubai World Central DWC Airport will see some of the biggest developments and upgrades. The dedicated budget for that phase is also bigger than any other phase of this project. 
Apparently, a whopping $16 billion has been set aside for this part of the expansion. This phase is all about making DWC a top-tier global aviation hub and achieving the final and best version of DWC. Now, for this phase, the big projects in the works include building two new concourses, constructing the East Terminal building, integrating rail connections, and adding two more runways. Additional concourses will make the airport more passenger-friendly, ensuring it can meet the increasing demand for air travel and provide top-notch services. The East Terminal building will be the third terminal that will be completed in this phase. And just so you know, this building will be on the east side, diametrically opposite to the West Terminal. Now, if we talk about the rail connections, this upgrade will definitely make the commute for passengers even easier. Etihad Rail will provide top-notch railway service for passengers to travel to and from the airport. That's why it's one of the most anticipated projects of the ultimate phase. And lastly, in order to handle the growing number of flights worldwide, two more runways are on the agenda. This expansion in runway capacity positions DWC as a major hub capable of handling a significant number of flights, strengthening its role in the global aviation network. And to basically be up to date with things, improvements are also planned for the baggage handling system. It seems like the baggage handling system will continue to enjoy upgrades for a very long time. The goal is to make sure the airport's infrastructure can efficiently handle the rising volume of luggage, because yes, our generation does overpack. And the ultimate phase is expected to wrap up with the airport reaching its ultimate goal of accommodating 260 million passengers annually. This ambitious target solidifies DWC as a global benchmark, setting new standards for airport capacity and operational excellence. Successfully achieving this final capacity goal establishes the airport as a key player in the international aviation scene capable of facilitating the movement of millions of passengers each year with exceptional efficiency and sophistication.